Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hi everybody and happy almost Thanksgiving and turkey day and eating turkey and cornbread and ooh, it's cornbread's holiday, which is very fitting because you know what I'm going to say. If you want to see all of our Big Brother content, you should head over to yourrealityrecaps.com slash B-B-O-T-T -T for the love of God. We only have to say it for eight more days, eight more days, and I'm never talking about Big Brother for two months. Don't even ask. Eric, when are you going to have the boo boo on? Eric, when are you going to have the boo boo on from the boo boo boo? I'm not. Eight more days. I need a fucking talking about Big Brother again. <laughs> Big Brother burnout. Hashtag. Anyway, if you want to see all of our really happy shows back, they're over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbott. Flashback times, which, oops, I just remembered I haven't updated uh, in the past two days, are over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbott. Flashbacks 24-7-ish now. Live feed <laughs> updates are available on Twitter at bbott. Live feeds. A few last little notes. If you want to help support our shows this holiday season, tomorrow's Black Friday, huge day for online shopping. Check out the video, uh, yourrealityrecaps.com slash Amazon holiday. If you need some great gift ideas, or if you're just doing any Amazon shopping, start at yourrealityrecaps.com slash Amazon. That will help us out so much much like you have no idea. Of course, you can also uh, become a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron, or you can subscribe right here in you now for super messages and to watch all of our other shows back that we don't post on the website, which are, if it's about reality TV, it's on the website. It's more of our hangout uh, shows and fan shows that I don't post on the website, so you get to see those back if you subscribe right here in you now. Now, Eric, you didn't mention PayPal. I know I didn't mention PayPal. Hold that thought for a minute, because we're going to get there. I have big announcements about uh, Jason. Or you know what? Do we want to do that first, chat room? Do you want Jason? All right, sure. Let's put the Jason news now in the beginning, uh, for those of you that don't know. Of course, I don't have an overlay for it. But if you don't know yet, you guys got, like, two more days to send me your pictures. Go to yourrealityrecaps.com slash Jason Nation slash J-A-S-O-N Nation um, and you can read the directions uh, which is basically hold up your sign hold up your sign that says like vote for Jason and then hashtag Jason Nation and you can have like your Twitter on it and whatever and just be like oh or like be in a car like Jason when he's on Snapchat whatever you want to do just make it fun send me the photo uh, to be in the video uh, you only have three more days to do it and um, I want you guys in it there's so many surprises with it that you guys don't even know, which is why I'm losing my mind and not sleeping. So, make sure you get me those pictures. YourRealityRecaps.com slash Jason Nation is where you get the info, what to do, how to send me the picture, all of that. So do that now. Do it tomorrow during Thanksgiving when you're eating your turkey or your aunt is annoying you or your brother's farting in your soup. I don't know what everybody else does in Thanksgiving because I'm not getting one. I have to edit the video. Also, <laughs> going back now really quickly for the next... Four days. Wait, what's this day? Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. For the next four days, people have been asking me, so I'm just, I'm, we're getting to the recap one second. People have been saying to me, we don't want to do a picture, but we want to help. We want to support. We want some way to help. We want some way to support. I didn't really know any other way to help people to support because nobody can do the work. And then other than video, I don't know how you guys can be in it. But then I had a genius idea. So... For the next four, here's how you can help, money. So for the next four days, anybody that does donations uh, at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two things. First, when the video is done, I'm going to pay to promote it. So like 
you can pay to promote your video. And I'm going to pay to promote it in the hashtag BBOTT. <laughs> I'm going to pay to promote it in the BBOTT hashtag. So I'm going to promote it on Twitter, and I'm going to promote it on, on, you, on YouTube. Ooh, that's going to suck for plastic fans when you're searching BBOTT and that Vote Jason video comes up. Oh, gosh. So that's going to be one. Um, I'm going to use any donations that we get in the next four days to promote the video. And because um, I'm hoping, I haven't even opened the email yet, there's going to be a ton of pictures. Um, and I'm hoping everyone followed the picture directions so I can also do a picture book and make it from all of his fans. Like, I'll do one of those Kodak things where if you, you know, like you give them all the photos and they bind it into a little book. So I'll send off to have the book made of all of your guys's photos. Um, so... That's what the people who are asking, if you want to support, if you want to do something uh, that isn't a photo, that's the only thing I can think. And I will also try and keep you updated. I'm going to be doing a show every day. If some millionaire gives us, uh, I don't even know, a lot of, I will tell you guys to stop is my point if we get like a lot of money. I'll, oh, and I'll say this too. I'll promote it. I'll do the book. And then I'll tell you to stop if we have enough. And then if there's any left over, we'll give it right to Jason's, uh, we'll give it right to Jason's PayPal. I mean, unless he wins. <laughs> no, I'll just say that to make it very clear and concise. And of course, I'll show you what we're doing. I'll show you what we got. I'll show you that we bought the book. I'll show you that we promoted. I'll show you that we gave any left over to Jason, but only for the next four days. Um, th that was just my idea on the people that were saying they wanted to help financially, not with the picture. And I'm like... I'm good. It's just working for me. But then I was like, oh, maybe pay to promote it. So there you go. I hope that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Um, and I hope it, doing one of those book things is easy. Because <laughs> if it's hard. <laughs> um, so, uh, that. oh, yeah. And if anybody checked, like, yesterday for a half hour, if you tried to send me an email, I stupidly put the wrong address. I'm legit working on no sleep for the last two days. Um, everything is everything is the right address, the right thing, the right directions. It's all correct. So if you go to youralterrecaps.com slash uh, Jason Nation, all the info's there. Okay. Now. That being said, 10 hours later, let's talk about what feels like a year ago <laughs> where we last left off on one of these shows, because of course we had the Danielle show and it's been crazy, um, where we last left off was with the nominations of Jason and Chrissy heading into the Corn Maze POV. And to do this really quickly, um, I guess, well, actually, I won't even do that yet. It was the corn maze, and, you know, like, they all had to, like, go through and find the ears of corn and make it out in the quickest time available. Um, Justin did it super duper quickly. Like, we were all blown away how quickly Justin did it. Shelby did it pretty quickly. Morgan took forever. Uh, Chrissy did it super quick, uh, quickly, but of course, it was our boy Jason that won. Our little monkey Jason won going through that. Now, so many things really quickly that crack me up about this. I personally love that Chrissy, the person who has been body shamed and made fun of and told she can't do anything, not only did she destroy Plastics Times, all the Misfits times combined beat Morgan's time. <laughs> so I just have to say, I'm not really one to believe in karma. But if there was a karma boomerang being thrown around the room, I think it would be hitting people in the face. <laughs> I just thought it was hysterical. Jason flew through it. Ooh, you want to see my impression? Want to see my impression of um, Morgan in the corn maze? Here's my impression of Morgan in the corn maze. Where is the chapstick? Where's the chapstick? I'm feel I'm feeling everywhere. I'm feeling ev it's not in here, production. There's no chapstick in this maze, production. Production, there's no chapstick in this maze. Where is the chapstick? 
I'm calling a technical difficulty. I need to redo this. I can't find the chapstick. That's my impression of, um, that's my impression <laughs> of Morgan in, uh, the card maze. Uh, I can't believe how quickly Jason did it. Uh, Morgan got all tripped up because, of course, she could not find the corn. She couldn't find it. Um, for the people in the chat room, guys, I don't know. The contact button to contact you now is below. Complain to them. I, I'm, I'm, I don't run you now. I promise we're seeing all of your messages. I see you all saying test and I'm checking and I'm not seeing what I'm saying. I see it. I don't know if that means other people see it or not, but I promise you're here. Other than that, all I can say is there's a contact you now button uh, below. Contact them. Fill out a complaint form. I don't know what to tell you. They seem to be having a problem. Lots of problems, but I see everything you guys are saying at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, going back to them winning, I loved when Morgan had to hand off the POV to Jason. And I have to say, this is very um, classy, for lack of a better word, on, you know, the misfit side. Say what you want. They seem to win very humbly and very graciously, in my opinion. I don't ever feel like they're very rubbing in the face of their wins, especially when this is sending Shelby home. Um, and I just feel like the Plastics like to celebrate a lot in front of them when they're sending one of the Misfits home. But whatever. Uh, you can totally disagree. No, everything is not my fault, Tess. Just feels like it. Uh, so, then we had the crying montage for hours of Shelby and Morgan of just crying and crying and crying. And I'm sure you guys have already seen the clips. Even Big Brother was mocking their crying. Here's the thing. I don't find it funny when Big Brother does the crying montages. And I know, I know that this is going to sound so hypocritical and you're going to call me a hypocrite yet for this one because we do comedic recaps. But here's the thing. They never label the guys in the house and the guys in the house cry. And I get it. They don't cry as much or as long as the girls in the house cry. However... It just seems like they always love to make an edit of the girls crying on Big Brother. And, like, it's funny for a second, and then I just find it not funny. I know you guys don't like them. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. I have to text you something later. Meant to tell you. Um... Uh, so, 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 oh, and I also have to say, it's kind of sad about Shelby. I know a lot of people don't like Shelby's personality, and in the same way, I would, I said for Danielle, you don't have to like Danielle's personality. You cannot like Danielle's personality, but Shelby did do a lot of stuff in the game, and for me, when there is people in the game like Justin or Morgan, in my opinion, who have not really done a lot. It sucks when someone that is at least one comps, made moves for their team, strategized and, and stuff like that, goes home. So that kind of is, mm, I do feel bad for Shelby on that point. But now that Shelby is gone, there's no more plastics that I feel I need to root for anymore, and I can be able to be full steam on board for Jason. <laughs> get the hell Morgan out now. Get Justin out. Let's get that final three. Um, oh, no. Oh, yeah, I guess Justin would have to be there in the final three. Oh, I'm actually fine if Justin goes instead of Morgan. Let Morgan have $10,000. Morgan, it, well, I guess Justin won his care package challenge. 
whatever, I don't care, Justin or Morgan, I'd be fine with either one of those three in the final, uh, in the final three. That is very true. Shelby, this was what was a little disappointing to me with Shelby, is that Shelby said she didn't need the money. She actually told Morgan, and I quote, I need the money least of all from anybody here. Least of all anybody, me. And I'm going to go back to my real life, and I'm not really going to be on social media, and I'm not going to really associate with Big Brother. Thanks for the opportunity, and I loved it, and it was super fun, but I lost, I'm out, uh, I'm kind of done with Big Brother. Now, here's the thing. That was right after she lost the POV and is coming to terms with the fact she's out of the game. I don't know that we should say she really means that, for those of you that are Shelby fans. If she did, that would be pretty disappointing. It'd be pretty disappointing. Yes, Cat S in the chat room. Just so you guys know, apparently the problem is you guys can't see your own texts, but we can all see them. So it's going to be a fun game in the chat room for right now. Just assume that everyone is seeing what you're typing. <laughs> it's a fun game. It's called Blind Chat. Yay! It's the new fun game. Play it. Think of it as a P.O.B. For the love of God, stop complaining about it. <laughs> Complain to you now. <laughs> um, What is the second and third place prizes Alex R. wants to know? Uh, I believe 25000 and 10000 I hear 25,000 and 10,000. Uh, yep, I heard in real time when she said it about the money. Me too, Lisa D. Danger Snaps. That's why I was disappointed. But again, just to play devil's advocate, to flip it around on the other side, they did just find out their games were lost. And regardless of anything, you don't have to like their games, you don't have to like anything, but just on like a human level, it must suck to play that game for two months for anybody. I don't care who it is, any of them, and like make it right there and and then go out. Like that has to suck. But whatever, that's good game, game over. Now all we have to do is just make sure that our Jason makes it into the final three. The final three so that we can go ahead with Operation Jason. And, oh, I just want to make one more, one more point. I should have put this in the beginning, but this is a very important part, point. I don't know why a lot of people are asking this, but 100%, yes, everyone, we're not going anywhere. People keep asking me, so you're gone when Big Brother is over? No, we're still doing shows every single night of the week. Probably for the majority of December, it's going to be holiday-themed shows, um, things based around uh, the holidays and stuff like that, and then we get back into reality television. And I should say, I lied earlier, we are going to have some more Big Brother shows. We're going to have Shane and Danielle come back on together. Um, we have a few special Big Brother shows planned for the month of um, December, one a week. One of them uh, every single week. So keep becoming a patron if you're not. Your realityrecaps.com slash patron if you are not to keep us doing shows uh, past January. Then leave on a holiday. Right. Go, Jason. What did Shelby say she went through for producers in the DR? What did she say she went through? I assume you're talking about when... So in that same conversation with Morgan, um, you know, she... Ooh, I didn't take that down. She wants to go home for Thanksgiving. And she was telling Morgan... Uh, she was telling Morgan... I yelled at production for 45 minutes on double eviction night and they're scared of me now. So if they think that, you know, I'm not going home, I will raise hell in the DR. But I mean, like now I'm paraphrasing it because I don't remember how it went. It was so two, three to two days ago. Um, you know, Shelby apparently likes to yell at production in the DR. Now, here's the thing. Do I think that that is really influencing what production is doing, her flipping out in the DR? No. <laughs> I got news for you guys. Who do you think production 
would be more susceptible to bending to. A cute little Shelby, who's just cute and funny when she's angry. I mean, if we took the emotion out of it and she wasn't going after our side, she's cute and funny when she's angry. Or, like an Amanda Zuckerman. Who would you rather have in the GR? And if they're not bending to Amanda Zuckerman, you think lol lol Shelby is getting something done because she's yelling about it? Audrey is wrapping herself up in a blanket, pretending like she's dead in the DR to try and get stuff to happen. Do you think they're moving for her? No. They ain't moving for Shelby. They ain't doing jack diddly poop for Shelby. But it's great for all the people that think they are. <laughs> um, can you do Survivor after the episodes for Big Brother over the top? I have no idea what your sentence means, but if you're asking if we cover Survivor, John does cover it every Wednesday night at 7 p.m., uh, which would be tonight. John will be doing the Survivor Survivor show tonight from 7 to 8, and then I will be back right here to watch part one of the HOH with you guys at 8 p.m. Oh, I should, I should let you guys know that uh, as well. I think Leslie sent me this photo for those of you guys that want it. So part one of the HOH is tonight, the 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow, they're celebrating Thanksgiving in the house. I would say, God, if they don't, if they don't give them some sort of a message from home or letters from home or something from home, like they are dropping the ball. I mean, come on, production. It's Skype call their damn families and let them leave a video. You don't gotta fly there and do an in-person video message. Just Skype them in and record a message for these people to see their families on Thanksgiving. Come on! Really? I'm gonna be really just sad for them and disappointed if they don't do that. Um, then we all know that uh, on Saturday the 26th, but we don't know what time, there's gonna be a Special game changing ceremony. Gee, I wonder what game changing ceremony comes after the HOH. Could it be the POV? Just throwing that out there. Throwing that out there. Unless they're going to do something where we vote, which would be real stupid, but we'll see. Um. And then part two of the final HOH will um, occur after the penultimate full week episode on Tuesday, November 29th at 8. So part one is tonight. Then we have a special ceremony. I mean, I guess that can't be veto on Saturday if it's happening before part two, which is Tuesday. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. Amy has the info for us. The winner of part one gets to pick one person to take to the final three. So the winner of part one gets to pick one person to take to the final three. Then there's two people left. And so we're saying that's what's going to happen on Saturday. The special ceremony is the winner gets to pick one person. Because still, this ceremony makes no sense to me. Puppy Glitter says, I don't think there's any more POVs. There aren't any more vetoes. Then how do we get from four to three? It doesn't make any sense. How are we getting from four to three? It wouldn't be fair. An eviction? Who's voting? The one person not on the... Yeah, a special ceremony. You're right. Special ceremony that better keep Jason safe. I mean, why even bother having an eviction if the person that wins part one of HOH is putting two people up and the third person is voting one of them out? It still doesn't make sense if part two of the HOH is on Tuesday. Loser of part two goes home. It's probably like a veto meaning, but they just pick. 
I know we're all just guessing theories at this point, but none of these theories seem to make sense to me. I get that the other two people would compete in part two. So if the winner of part one is saving one person to go to, to the final three, then the other two people battle on Saturday and whoever loses goes home. And there's a no part to vote. Okay. That makes sense. Um, Big Rig says, whoever wins HOH picks who goes home. Not really. Wes says, Eric, the first HOH winner gets to pick a winner during the ceremony. The last two battle it out for the final spot. Okay, so that's what we are saying. That makes sense to me then. So whoever wins part one tonight, oh, please, sweet Jesus, be Justin or Chrissy then, gets to pick who they want to bring to the final three, and they're done. They're done, they're in the final three, they made it. So we're all crossing our fingers for a Jason or a Chrissy win tonight. Worst case scenario would be a Morgan win, but let's shove that back in our mouths. Um, I mean, I know, I'm saying, I know we want Jason to win, obviously, but we know if Chrissy wins, she's going to take Jason. I don't know what Justin will do. I know the words coming out of his head, but I don't know. Oh, Justin is against Jason again now? Awesome. I can't with him. He flip-flops back and forth nine million times. Justin will not pick Jason. Yeah, I could also see Justin picking Chrissy over him anyway. Okay, so whoever wins part one of HOH tonight is going right to the final three and picking who they want to bring with them, and then the other two people battle. Okay, so Jason has two chances to make it to the final three. If he doesn't make it there tonight, then Tuesday's competition will again be something where he will destroy it. It'll be fine. I see no scenario where Jason is not in the final three, especially if now we're not voting. If we're not leaving it up to a vote at this point, I see no way Jason is not making it into the final three anymore. Um, they will make sure that he gets there then, if it's competitions, I think, allegedly. Oh my god, and speaking, 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 speaking of, I will also say, like, Big Brother is giving him such the edit. You can tell by the what they're doing with the cameras that they are preparing like a big winner's edit for him. I mean, how poetic was it before he won that POV of him sitting there and reading the top three list from last season? He's getting such a good edit. They are tweeting out promotional videos of him. My little heart was breaking for him before the POV when he was like on the floor and crying and all super duper sad. That made me sad. But alas, no worries, little buddy, because as we all know, you won the POV. And of course, that defaulted Shelby to become the nomination uh, replacement and the target for this week in his Zach Morris shirt. It's so funny that you guys call it a Zach Morris shirt. I always call it an Andy Heron shirt because I remember that, like, Andy was the first person I ever remember wearing that shirt on Big Brother, and now I see, like, a lot of other people wearing it. Um, hello, I knew. What happened to Shelby? Oh, my God, it was really sad. Remember the crows that um, picked up Victoria when she was a baby? They came back to the house and they thought that you know, they were late because they're crows and they don't fly well. So they just saw some girls shrieking in the backyard. They thought it was Victoria. They picked her up and flew her out of the game. So she's out. So now we're down to the final four of Morgan, um, Justin, Jason, and Chrissy. And then we'll just see what happens from there. It's unfortunate. They did, like, some magic. Like, they got, like, a, like, a, what is that called? A generator? Charlie, shut up! A generator. <laughs> they, 
they got a generated computer image of her where it's going to now look like she's in there live tonight. But that's not true at all. It's just a hologram. Hologram was the word I was looking for. Hologram. Um... Of course he won POV. He ran, crawled through a maze just like the angel that he is that can fly on angel wings. Oh, that is so sweet of you, David Thielen. David Thielen, Jason's biggest supporter this whole season. We love you, David Thielen. I am going to make sure he knows how much you supported him. Um, You now is fixed. Awesome. Hey, okay, this is a fun part of a recorded show. Hey, Charlie, it's just the UPS man. Can you calm down now? I'll appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> See, he doesn't want to bark. Oh, now he's barking. He's such a little angry man. He's such a little angry man, my Charlie. <gasps> you know, we never have Charlie. Oh, I wish I could pause. We never have Charlie on a show. Should I go grab him? I mean, you got all the people that come to the late night shows and the shows that I tell you we don't put on the um, website are the shows that Charlie's on. I feel like you guys never get to see him on a recorded show. So this part's going to suck where you're just going to have nothing on the show for 30 seconds. But I'm going to go get him to show him to all the recorded show people. So just pretend like you're singing and doing a dance. Pretend like something's happening. Charlie, come say hi to everybody. protecting me from the UPS man. It's the holidays. I'm most thankful for you, Charlie. So let's say hi. Oh, God. Oh, hold on. Okay, let's all say hi to Charlie. Oh, buddy. You say hi to everybody? What is this bullshit? I'm only, I only perform for the nighttime shows. I only perform for the hanging out shows. Here's our lil. He is the official reality recaps mascot. But you guys never see him unless you come to our late night shows where we don't really talk about Big Brother and we just hang out. So I wanted to show him. <laughs> he is like falling asleep. <laughs> he just wants to like fall over. Come on, you little monkey. Oh, okay. Okay, you just go, oh, so that's my hand. You just, this is what I do with him. I'm like, lullaby. I'm like one of those gay people that are like, I'm never having children. This is my child. <laughs> um, Thank you very much for the bars, Izzy. I love him too. All right, come and say goodbye to everyone. Can you wake up? Hello? I got to go back to the show, Charlie. This is already a three-minute interview the intermission that I'm going to get 19 emails about. I don't care about you, dog. Okay, so say goodbye to everybody. Oh, and we're mushing down again. <laughs> He's like a big mush ball right now. Okay, say goodbye to everybody. You don't like the bright lights in your face? Say bye. Who looks better? Who wore it best? <laughs> He's so not impressed right now. <laughs> okay, go ahead, buddy. We'll be, we'll be done soon, buds. Uh, we look alike, I know, like daddy, like son. Um, technically the mommy. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Jason, Jason, Jason. Charlie is, gol uh, is a golden retriever. Uh, what? Oh, Charlie is your golden retriever's color. Yeah, he's a Lasha Opso. He's a Lasha Opso. Ooh, and since this is a segment that we don't normally have on a show, and this is clearly the show where I'm begging people to send me photos and become patrons and do all that stuff, I'll also say, if by some chance anybody is a dog breeder out there and breeds hypoallergenic um, dogs that aren't big and you think they would be more like Charlie's size, please send me an email because I'm looking to maybe one day get a brother for Charlie uh, from a breeder. Email me, realityrecaps at gmail.com. Um, yeah, I know, Yorkies. I've been hearing Yorkies a lot. <laughs> 
Uh, we're not getting into that on the recorded show. Or actually, you know what? I'm just going to end the show now. Uh, unless, here's what I'll do. Is there any more Big Brother questions that you guys want to know about? Do you guys have any more Big Brother related questions? Anything you're confused on? When the times for stuff is? Any of the Jason stuff? Because maybe if any of you guys have it in the chat room, uh, maybe other people are having it. Um, and then I will end the recorded show and then we can hang out for a few minutes for the after show and talk about whatever you answered all our questions worst case scenario for jason says tess i mean worst case scenario he goes out final three but look if he goes out final three our video the pictures everything that we're doing we can easily change that into uh we're all here for you we're all supporting you we're all welcoming you back into the real world jason i can very easily turn the video into a we're all here for you jason video instead of a vote for jason video so don't feel like you know it's going to be bad if you send the pictures or whatever in case he doesn't make it. Either way, it's going to be a great video. It's either going to be a voting for Jason video or it's going to be a we're all here for you. That sucks video. <laughs> um, Why is Shelby still crying? I don't know if you heard. The crows took her away from the game. So she's very sad about it. Um... I don't see a scenario where Jason's not in the final three. Me neither. Any prediction on what the HOH comps will be? Yeah, something stupid. Something that is stupid. Asking questions. No, going to be nothing good. Um, email for Jason video again. Go to yourrealityrecaps.com slash Jason Nation. Yourrealityrecaps.com slash Jason Nation. All of the information is on that page. Or go to my Twitter. I'm always tweeting it. It's actually pinned to my Twitter page. You can get the link right there. All the information is on there. Um, uh, hope the HOH is quick tonight. Me too. Because I'm going to go start going through the pictures now after this show. Eric, will you go live after tonight's show? Tara, honestly, probably not. I mean, I probably will, but I shouldn't. I have slept, like, six hours since Sunday night. I don't know how I'm functioning on this show. <laughs> and I have so much work to do on this video. So I don't know if I'm going to be going live, but I will tell you, I will be in the chat room for whatever happens during this HOH tonight. I will be there and watching it tonight with all of you. And then you never know. I say I won't go live, and then I do. And that's a great example of the shows that I say we're not putting on the website where we kind of hang out and talk Big Brother and other stuff. Um, do -do 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 -do. Can we do a Photoshop? Can we do a Photoshop rather than holding up a sign? You can do whatever you want as long as you are have something that lets people know you're voting for Jason. I don't care what, how you do it, because then it, like, if you're not in somehow have something that lets people know you're voting for Jason in the photo, then it could just be like, I went on the internet and downloaded random pictures of people and just threw them in a video. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's good. Oh, Lord, who is this? Oh, here's the fun part. Watch this. Um, hi. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, hi, John Richardson. How are you doing today? I'm live on the air, and you're with us and the audience. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. I guess you didn't see my tweet to see that I was live. I was trying not to cut into your show time tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Unless that's why you're calling. <laughs> Uh-oh, did I lose you? Uh oh, I think we lost John. Okay, well, maybe he'll call back. Um, John's mom show is tonight. Yes, John's show is live tonight at 7 p.m. then with his mom. Uh, and they're talking Survivor. Ooh, tonight is John's show with his mom cooking. 
Ooh, that is going to be exciting. Well, don't worry. They're on our website. You can watch them back on our website, yourrealityrecaps.com slash survivor. So you can check that show back out uh, if you miss it. Let's see if there's any other questions. I wrote Team Jason. That's fine. It, oh, what I was going to say is it's probably best if you have hashtag Jason Nation in your picture. That's the best. As long as the point is you're voting for Jason and if you can get the hashtag Jason Nation in it, that's great. Again, all of the directions are over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash Jason Nation. And for those that wanted to know how they could support without doing a photo, yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal only into the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Only to the 27th, people that uh, donate any money I will be using to promote the video after it's done and to make one of those photo books for Jason with all of your guys' photos in it. I have no clue the amount of either of those things full disclosure <laughs> um so there's those two and then anything left over will give uh to jason i guess uh so that's that donated today thanks um laney and i'm gonna end the show for the people watching uh the playback so thank you guys i'll see you tonight if you're somehow watching this before eight but you shouldn't because john survivor show and he's cooking with his mom that'll be fun but uh i will see you guys um, then I guess next on Thanksgiving. I'm sure we'll do something late Thanksgiving night. I'll see you guys all then. Bye, everyone.